For more than three and a half years, sailors and service members from other branches stationed at Regional Support Command East in Afghanistan have trained and equipped local Afghan National Security Forces to take a leading role in securing their nation. RSC East was recently inactivated during a ceremony at Bagram Airfield. Inactivation is a it's emotional time. Of course, we case the unit colors. Uh, the command does not exist anymore. I, I had a great team here. Had uh, about 800 when I first arrived, and now I'm sitting about 150. Um, all four services, all three components to include international partners, uh, nine to be total, and uh, a great year together. Uh, emotional time, we did, we did lose several soldiers in the process, and uh, their sacrifice themselves as well as their families is much appreciated and uh, will always be remembered as part of, part of my time here. The inactivation comes as Afghan forces begin taking over the securing of the country from American and coalition forces. Uh, they are in the lead, uh, but as you know, it's taken a lot of effort, a lot of effort uh, for them to get to this point. Uh, one of those critical elements has been the RSCs across um, Afghanistan. Uh, and in particular, this one led by Colonel Knapp and his team. Since 2011, RSC East advised and developed 10 police training centers, a national police training center, a military training center, four logistics centers, and a regional military hospital. It also oversaw the training efforts of more than 200 coalition training advisors from around the world. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Alex Snyder.